This curious box, straight from Japan, contains some of the most beautiful Pokemon cards ever created. In the Pokemon trading card game, Japanese promo cards have always outshined the rest. From incredible crossovers like the 2016 Mario Pikachu and Mario Luigi XY promos, the Poncho Pikachu series celebrating the brand new openings of Pokemon centers in Japan swallowed up Pikachu from the Koro Koro Movie promo box, which was only available in theaters and sets with cards like these from 2002, which could only be obtained by visiting certain train stations during the Japan Railway Adventure Rally. Put the artwork together and you have something incredibly special. Today, we've got early access to something special, set to release to the public in October of 2021. Pokemon, in collaboration with the Japan Post Service, created this. The Japan Post Pokemon Stamp Collection Box. Currently, only a few thousand of these boxes have become available. Through a lottery sale in Japan, by way of entry through a postcard, you had to get lucky in order to be one of the first. But now that we have this here, it's time to reveal what's special inside. This is incredible. I hope you like that intro. I had to pay a little extra for that, but yeah, it was worth it. So let's explore this box. I'll get to this gorgeous promo card in a minute, and there's actually two in here wrapped up. But first, let's take a look at this, which is called the Sword and Shield Family Pokemon Card Game Deck. Inside this colorful box, we have a red deck of cards featuring Cinderace and a yellow deck with Pikachu. Pika! We have a packet of uh, damage counters and a really nice Pikachu coin and two play mats. Everything that a family would need to get started playing the TCG. Let's crack open the yellow deck and let's see what's inside. Oh wow, a very dynamic looking Pikachu V in the middle of one of his attacks. If you look closely in the bottom right hand corner, you can see a little tiny Pikachu symbol there for the symbol of this deck. And of course, in the red deck, we have the Cinderace V. And so these two decks next to each other, uh, you can have a lot of fun, I think. And I've been learning how to play the TCG, actually. I have more on that later. But anyway, this is really nice. Let's open these up to see what's inside. Here is the Pikachu V. And behind we have a Greninja V. Beautiful. A Quillfish. Choodle, a few of them actually. Okay, so this is of course a deck that you can play with. There's some multiples in here. I see I see the Shinx, Luxio, and Luxray evolution line, uh, trainer cards. There's a boss's order, a bunch of lightning and water energies. We got a hop, draw three cards. Very nice, very nice. And all the cards in this deck have that Pikachu symbol on the bottom right hand corner. Let's open up the Cinderace deck to see what we have in there. Behind Cinderace, we have an Appleton. Yum. We got the Danny Phantop in there, evolving into Trevenant, Vulpix, Ninetales, Victini, a bunch of trainers, some energies. There's a Centiscorch. And in the back, a aw, cute little Swizzlepeed. Uh, he actually kind of looks like that Anger character from Inside Out. It's really funny. All right, let's put those away. And let's actually pop this plastic shell off because there's something underneath here. These are what are called transforming cards. We've got Charizard, Eevee, and Pikachu. To me, these look sort of like postcards, and if they aren't, I'm actually not exactly sure what you're supposed to do with them. It's pretty cool collectible though. And now let's take a look at the full art promos that came inside this box. This artwork is absolutely stunning. Who else but the legendary Mitsuhiro Arita illustrated this? The same artist who illustrated the original Charizard and so many other iconic Pokemon that we know today. This particular card featuring a Japanese woman with Pikachu on her back is called Return Beauty. And it's inspired by a painting by a man named Ishikawa Moronobi back in the 17th century. This painting titled A Beauty Looking Back later became a commemorative Japanese stamp in 1948. 
1991, the Japan Post, who Pokemon partnered with for this card, celebrated their 120th anniversary and reissued this famous print on a stamp. This is an absolute perfect card to illustrate the relationship between the Japan Post and Pokemon. This is incredible history here and well thought out. I, I absolutely love this. The other promo card we have here is, wow. Wow, look at these Cramorants. This is absolutely stunning. This illustration pays homage to Ukiyo-e, which is a genre of art in Japan that flourished from the 17th to the 19th century. And if you've seen this image before, the Great Wave off Kanagawa, then you've seen Ukiyo-e style art before. Like the return beauty card with Pikachu on it, this was also inspired by a specific piece of artwork called Wild Geese Flying Under the Full Moon circa 1833 by Utagawa Hiroshige. Let's look at these side by side. This is awesome, this is so cool. This image of the wild geese was first used on stamps in 1949, and here they are again in a stamp collection box. Fun fact, the ability on this Pokemon translates to triple jab, flip three coins. This attack does 60 damage for each heads. Three coins, triple jab, three Cramorants. You can even see the moon back there too. Again, the artist, none other than Arita. Arita for the win, for sure. There's one thing that comes in this box that I'd love to show you, but I can't because it's not here. It's the actual stamps that come within this box, which are usually in a sleeve attached to the underside of the top. My contact in Japan who helped hook me up with this early, uh, he said that, well, the stamps, he wasn't allowed to include them. It would be illegal for him to sell these stamps at the time that I bought them. So he kept them out, but I still wanted to get this in hand so you could see them and we can hold them and we can appreciate them and learn about them. And I hope you enjoy this. We can get the stamps later, that's okay. Let me know in the comments, do you agree with me? Japanese promos are just on a whole nother level. I mean, we have, what, special delivery Bidoof that came out recently, which is a cool card. We've had some other promotional cards like Special Delivery Pikachu recently, but nothing, nothing like this, right? Maybe they could use your help. Tell me in the comments section, if you were to come up with a Pokemon plus other company, other organization sort of collaboration, what would be the promo? What would be the card? What would it look like? Maybe it might turn out to be true in the future. That'd be cool. Maybe you can make a prediction here. What promo would you like to see Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to click on one of the links on the screen right now so you can watch another video with some amazing stories and background about these things that we love called Pokemon.